hey guys welcome back to another video from zendry's home style cooking i know i haven't posted any video within four months but today's video will be making up for that i'll be showing you how to make this delicious jamaican easter bun so stay tuned to do is to go ahead and combine all our wet ingredients and I'm using one bottle of malta as well as one bottle of guineas you could use two bottle of malta as well as two bottles of guineas or you could also use dragon for yours as well okay but because the guineas is bitter I'm just adding one guineas and a malta to it. Dissolving all the ingredients in this we're not boiling it or anything so we want to dissolve the sugar in it I have two tablespoons of strawberry jam there also two tablespoons of molasses so I'm just going to add that to it also I have here half cup of honey and my stove is on low extremely low as I said that we're not boiling the ingredients we just want to dissolve everything okay I have two tablespoons of vanilla Two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, so I'm gonna mix that. And some nutmeg extract. I will be using the nutmeg as well. So this is one teaspoon, but I'm just using the liquid in my liquid ingredients. So just add that to it. Just mix until the sugar is dissolved. Okay, I'm just going to turn my flame off and I'm going to put this aside to cool. Go ahead now and get started on our dry ingredients. So your first thing you're going to need is four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I've already went ahead and sieved my flour so it's light and airy. Also, you're going to need two tablespoons of baking powder. We're going to sieve that as well. So just add that to it. Also, a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. Just add that to it. We need one tablespoon of freshly grated nutmeg. If you don't have the fresh one, just go ahead and use the powder, okay? As well, we're going to use one tablespoon of cinnamon powder. One tablespoon of mixed spice. We're going to sieve everything together and then we're just going to mix it up to combine all the dry ingredients together as well. Now that everything is saved, as you can see, this is what left back. We're going to go ahead and just use a whisk to combine everything together. I have two eggs that I've already beaten and I've added one tablespoon of orange zest to it. Also half teaspoon of lime juice to it. I'm just going to add this, add the eggs to the mixture okay so I'm just gonna whisk this that's that I just put this aside a little and now I'm gonna start by adding my dry ingredients I'm not going to add all of it at once so a little at a time And I'm going back in with my whisk. Add some more of the flour. And we're just going to continue mixing this until we get a nice consistency. And then I'm going to be adding one and a half tablespoon of browning and the browning is for color. I'm just going to go ahead now and add my browning. So I'm just going to mix this again. A cup and a half of mixed fruits. Now that everything is combined, I'm just going to go ahead and place it in my loaf tin that I've already greased with some butter as well as line it with some parchment 
paper and oven is preheated to 185 degrees and this is going to bake for at least an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. add it to a second container that I have here okay so I'm just going to also what I like to do when I don't really like them I don't like fruits overall I just like to add some to the top just for you know decorative purposes nothing else right all right, into the oven, I'm going to put these, going to bake for an hour, at least an hour and 15 minutes. Take off the bun to give it that nice sheen that you always see once you get your Easter bun. We're going to go ahead and make a glaze for that, okay? So I'm just going to add one tablespoon of butter. I'm going in with two tablespoons of strawberry jam. As well as one tablespoon of honey add that to it and also a quarter cup of water so we're just going to allow this everything to dissolve in there and it's nice and thick okay At a consistency that I like so I'm just going to turn it off put it aside to cool and then use it to glaze my buns are now out of the oven this bake for an hour and 15 minutes and this one bake for exactly one hour so the tester came out first so this one came out a hour and 15 minutes so I'm just going to add my glaze to it that we made earlier and then I'm going to allow the bun to cool before cutting into it and I'll show you guys what it looks like. There you have it, my delicious Easter bun, and I'm just serving it with some cheese. Oh my goodness, it looks so amazing. I hope you did enjoy today's video, and don't forget to go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.